In this video we're going to show how you can uh, put a circle around each marker that you place on a map uh, and um, control uh, the uh, radius, the uh, fill color uh, and opacity of the uh, circle dynamically. So you can see here we basically have uh, a map that is showing um, the location of airports uh, in the United States and right now we have a search active that is only showing Massachusetts and for each airport we have a, a circle where the radius of the circle is proportional uh, in this case to the uh, elevation uh, of the airport. Uh, that this is a somewhat contrived example. Perhaps a more useful example might be, say, branch uh, location of um, branch offices with, with a circle around each um, uh, uh, marker indicating the uh, service radius uh, of the uh, of the branch so basically it might show a circle say of uh, 10 miles um, around the marker so you would see you know all the points within the circle would be within the um, service area of the uh, 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 of that branch office but in this case the uh, circle is being used to represent some type of information about the marker um, and in this case uh, it's the elevation of the airport so let's go now and take a look at how we did that so we'll go back to our alternate view definition over there and bring it up and you can see now that we've turned on uh, draw circle around marker and we've come up with a, again a contrived expression here that says we're going to take the elevation uh, which is in meters divide that by 50 uh, and then convert that into miles so basically whatever value we enter over here can have units can have basically um, units of meters kilometers miles um, etc yards um, but in addition to specifying the radius, we can also specify the um, the stroke color of the um, s the line around the circle, the uh, opacity, uh, the color, etc. And uh, the ex we can define that either using an expression, uh, which would be a constant value, but uh, the most powerful option would be to actually call into an X basic function where you can write code that's very elaborate. Uh, to actually determine what the uh, value of the uh, uh, opacity or color etc should be uh, for the current marker uh, on the map. Thank you very much.